Hello, 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 Facebook world. How's everybody today? Um, it is Friday, uh, September 3rd. I cannot believe we are into September already. I say this every day. Um, I've said it every day this week that I've been on, yesterday and today. Um, it is September 3rd and uh, it is Friday. It is Labor Day weekend, so it will be a busy weekend here at Aroma Time. It will be busy um, everywhere you go. I know that the cops are out, so be careful wherever you go. Um, we were just talking about that, our staff. I know there is a um, concert up in Bethel tonight, so everybody be careful. Uh, be careful driving, be careful of um, the deer. I, I've seen a lot of deer on the side of the road as well. Be careful uh, just out there in general. So um, let's see, let's see. It is Friday. We have our $9.99 to go special this week, which is um, short ribs, mac and cheese. So that is to go only. We also have our regular menu available as well to go. We have burgers and pizzas and salads and uh, risotto. We have a salmon risotto uh, with corn. So um, we have a lot of uh, to go stuff. You can check it out on our website. And let's see, what else do we have going on? Up, oh, let's drink. Hello, Ann. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Douglas. Hi, Marcus. Marcus is actually on my my video, my Facebook Live today. So, hello, everybody. If you're watching me live, if you can put hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay. Love to see who's on. Love to love to just hear from you. If you have a drink that you'd like to see me make and I haven't made it yet, I try to find different drinks um, to make every day. And um, let's see. And so I really, I'm really trying to say, not say um because people are telling me I'm saying um too much. So I apologize if I, if I am not, if I stop and then I continue. Let's see. Um, there I go. Um, um, um. Someone told me I say um too much. <laughs> My staff is laughing at me. So. If you have a drink that you'd like to see me make, please let me know, drop a comment, tag a friend. Aroma Time is open this weekend. Uh, we are open tonight at five o'clock. We open Saturday and Sunday at three, and Monday we will be open at five, and then we are closed on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Hope everybody is staying safe out there. Make sure you're taking your vitamin C, you're getting lots of exercise, and make sure you are staying nice and healthy. Drink lots and lots of water as well. Our groceries are still available. We haven't really been pushing them. I know probably starting next week, we'll start letting you know more about the groceries. We'll bring more things in. Once school goes back all over, um, we, will, we, we will let you know more about our groceries. But we, they are still available. We might not have everything. And of course, we can't do wine or liquor to go. We can still do beer. You can still do growlers of beer. We still have our four pack IPAs for $19.99. So you can still get that. You can get a four pack of IPAs here at Aroma Time while you're sitting in the back garden. And there are four different IPAs, so you can do that. The garden is sold out tonight until after eight o'clock. So if you are calling to make reservations, plan to come later, like eight o'clock or later. We are busy, busy, busy tonight. We will be busy all weekend, I'm sure. So please make sure you call ahead and make a reservation. So in the meantime, let me get started on my lilac lemonade. Um, that's a mouthful. So. Cooper's daughter from Old York Farm in Claverack, New York, um, they, they have a lilac liqueur. It's made with vodka. It's really, really good. Um, when you smell it, it smells like, like lilacs, obviously. And I believe they are putting real lilac into uh, the process and they put it into vodka. Let's see if it says, it's a vodka-based liqueur distilled from New York apples and infused with real lilac flowers. Each sip encapsulates the scent of late spring with a deeply floral flavor and notes of rock candy. This perfect porch swing sipper can be enjoyed splashed into Prosecco or used to sweeten a floral lemonade. So I am going to make the floral lemonade today. I am going to start with, um, doesn't say any agave, so I'm not gonna put agave, but I'm gonna put about an ounce of lilac liqueur. I'm gonna put about an ounce of vodka. I'm gonna use bootlegger, so I'm making this an all New York State um, uh, vodka drink. And then we will add a, some lemon juice, probably about a half an ounce. 
It calls, the recipe actually calls for Luxardo syrup. I'm gonna use Luxardo liqueur. So just a drop of the Luxardo liqueur in there. And thanks everybody for watching me. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Lori. Hello, Michael. Thank you everybody for watching. Hello, Dawn. Wahoo, women business owners supporting each other. Cooper's Daughter Spirits at Old York Farms and Aroma Time. Awesome. Um, so, uh, Lori, I didn't know that it was family owned. So, that, I, sorry, I knew it was family owned. I didn't know that it was woman owned. So, I'll have to do some more research. I think this means that we're going to have to take a trip up to Claverack, New York. I'm not really sure where that is. Um, but this is called Farm to Cask and uh, Old York Farm. So, I'm hoping to, to hopefully get up there and visit. So, if you are watching me live, if you can put hashtag live in the comments, if you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay, I'm going to add some ice to my drink. Add a little bit of ice, and I am going to top it off with some soda water. And I'm gonna mix that on up. I'm gonna use that side this time. It's a little bit easier, I think. And sometimes I like to put agave. Um, I didn't put agave in it this time, let's see. It's near Hudson, let's meet. Yes, Lori, that sounds great. We can go on a hike like we've been talking about doing and, um, and go visit the distillery. I'd love that. So lilac lemonade, let's taste it. Hmm. That's very interesting. I was actually told last night by people that I say um too much and I always like my drink. So this is not my favorite drink, just so everybody knows. Um, I'm not gonna spit it out, but it's not my favorite. It kind of needs a little bit of something. Maybe a little bit more lilac and maybe a little agave it would bring out the sweetness a little bit, but the lilac by itself is really sweet. Um, so I'm not sure, but uh, that's a little better. So it needed a drop more of the lilac. So about an ounce and a half of the lilac, that is definitely better. Mm. So the nice part about making drinks at home is you can change them, you can add, take away, you can um, play around, play around with your drinks at home. That's what I do here at the bar. If you notice when I make a lot of drinks at the beginning, I'm always tasting them. Like if you're sitting at the bar, I always take a little taste of it, not out of your glass, of course, out of a different glass, or I take a spoonful and I taste it. But I like to taste it just to make sure, number one, I'm being consistent, and number two, that the, ta the drink tastes good, especially if it's something I've never made before. I wanna make sure that it's gonna taste good and, and you're gonna enjoy it as a guest here at Aroma Time. That is really important to us here. It's really important. We have a guarantee that you're gonna like everything, and I wanna make sure that you do. So, hi, Mary. Nice to see you on. Hello, Joel. Hello, Catherine. Hi, um, Gina. Cousin Gina's on. Jimmy races up in Claverack. Oh, awesome. So check them out, Gina. They make some, <clears throat> some other awesome products too. What do I have? The cacao. Let me just grab the other two bottles we got. And um, so I'm excited about this cacao maple vodka. Cacao maple vodka. And this is, I talked about it yesterday too. It's a whiskey finished in black walnut syrup barrel. So it's black walnut bourbon. Um, they're all really good. So, and they make a bunch of other stuff too. They make a rhubarb, um, they, make, they make a bunch of things. And, um, and, and I, I'm excited to taste all of them. So I guess a trip up to Claverack, New York is in, in the works for Marcus and I. Hello, Mike, uh, thanks for joining. Happy birthday, Mike. Hope you're enjoying your day. Hope to see you soon. Somebody's trying to join my video. You know, I've never done that before. Um, Maybe it's by accident. I don't know, Catherine, if you press that by accident or not. I've never actually done that, but happy Friday to everybody. It looks like tomorrow's going to be nice. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't get too much rain on Sunday. Um, I, I, I'd, like to, I, I'd like to say we don't get rain. We're actually doing a catering job on Sunday outside, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, there is no rain on Sunday. And, uh, and then Monday, I, of course, it's a holiday. And then uh, it's actually Labor Day and Rosh Hashanah starts on Monday, so Monday and Tuesday. And then I know Ellenville goes back to school. The kids go back on Wednesday. And um, that's it. So $9.99 special this week is our short rib mac and cheese. That is to go. And our regular menu is available. If you would like to come in tonight, please call and make reservations. And that's it. Hope everybody has an awesome night. Cheers, and we will talk to everybody soon. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. 
Mike, happy birthday. We'll see you in a little bit. Cheers.